Hello, everyone. I'm Chester44, also known as Fly, and welcome to this Let's Play of Spirit Fair. Last episode, we, uh... We happened to visit a new location, and while we were here... Well, first, we went around and spoke with, uh... Lily at a few shrines, where we basically learned about Stella's own story, and how she knows all the various people she's been sending around. That said, now, we also took a stop here at this location we're at, which is Overbrook? I believe it's Overbrook. Yeah, and because of that, we've now seen a bunch of things. However, including, it's a hospital with a person there who is another spirit. We'll probably be doing more with them at some point in the future. But for now, let's, uh, we kind of need to buy some old shoes from Francis here. Yes, we're buying old shoes. Shush. There we go. Buying them for a reason, okay? Make some coffee. Yes, if you don't mind, well, first. Anything I want to sell? Not much. Oh! Clear glass sheet, an alloy that can be used for a very popular slapstick gag. Right, I need to buy... I o you only have one old shoe. Fine, I'll be able to make one more glue. It's fine. Right, pull this out. Now let's head back for a moment. Because once we get the glue made, we'll be able to finish a uh, shenanigans. Hey, Sarah. Good of you to visit. It's a shorter stream today, but I do hope you enjoy the watching. Only got another half hour of this. Alright. Let's get this done, we'll get the glue, and then we'll be able to turn in the next quest. And... There we go. Hey, we got two glue. So we'll have an extra. Perfect. Alright, let's hand this into the guy who needed it. I think the ladder was actually over here. There it is. And you were up here. You got it all. Nice. One second. All right, all right. Boom. Nope. Did you think I was going to stand up? Actually, I was feeling pretty good sitting down. Darn. Now I don't know. Should I stand up and get tired? Should I sit down and get tired? Either way, I'll be tired. I just need to figure out what kind of tired I want to be. Down or up? Alright, well, that's taken care of. So does Jackie here actually have another quest for us? After we've helped him out? Nope, nothing else there. So we'll probably get a quest sometime in the future. Or we'll come back and visit and find something. I don't know. Either way... We need to head to Grey Mist Peaks. That's our next location. Uh, you know what? Let's just go to Grey Mist Peaks immediately. Onion, tomato, garlic, and peach. Simple enough. Alright, everyone up.
Are you hungry? My sincerest p apologies for pestering you. Okay, you're hungry. You need... Oh, God. You need a lot. You like old-fashioned. Let's give you something good and old-fashioned. Um... Meat stew. Sure. Bless... All right, there you go. And I'll give you a hug, too. That should help quite a bit. There you go. Now you're neutral. I'm going to get you a home when I'm actually able to. But we're just about to arrive in a, ma in a major place. Sorry about that. Oh, wow. Oh, this is going to be a lot. This is interesting. Yeah, there's going to be a lot to do over in here. Oh, this is probably where I get pine! Oh, do you need something? No, you're fine, you're full. And we have letters. A letter from Jackie. Let's see here. To whom it may concern. On behalf of the Fart Bank of Fartopolis, of which you are one of the prime benefactors, please accept the enclosed fart dividends. This is not really a letter from the bank. This is from Jackie, and I farted in the envelope. Pranked! <laughs> Just wanted to tell you that the vending machine has finally been restocked. Come check it out. Yeah, we'll check it out soon. For now, let's take a look at Grey Mist Peeps. Would you look at that? This is what I'm talking about. The open air, breathe it in, Scout. That's the good stuff. <sighs> yeah, this reminds me. You should have these. Mickey says he doesn't want this. You can have mine, too. We don't need them anymore. Listen, I think we need to rethink your role in our organization. If Mickey doesn't mind, I'm gonna need you to run point on some things. You would have a more involved role, if you know what I mean. I'll fill you in when we get that to the boat. Go do your thing. You've earned it. We'll hang back. Finally, you gave me your opals. I've been waiting for them. I'm surprised it took you so long. Okay, not that way. Yes, sir, it is a cozy game. But also sometimes quite sad. Give it a try sometime. It's actually co-op, if you can believe it. Let's see. So, onion seeds. Buy a few of those. Tomato seeds. When planted in the field, this will sprout into a tomato. And garlic, and I don't need peaches. Thank you very much. Oh, this is terrible. I don't even know how to go back. Oh, hello! That's how we get up. Isn't it? There we go. Oh, God! <laughs> okay, that was the wrong thing to do. I've planned this geyser sightseeing trip for years. And after I set up camp, I realized my perfect behavior prevents me from looking left. Mm. What a dumb mistake. Tell me, does the geyser look as impressive as it sounds? Yes, it really does. Mm. Why did you tell me? Now I'm even madder I can't see it. To answer your question, Sarah, local co-op, but if you do the whole uh, Steam share thing that they have, you can do it online. Okay, can't count. I can't get over to there. Oh, that's a jump. Okay, made it up to here. I 
realize we'd be able to count to uh, jump on this. There we go. Oh boy. Missed that one. Made it to the top here, and we found the shrine. The dash ability. Press left shift to release Everlight Energy and leap forward. Need to come back here at night. Here we go. Holy crap! That literally just... Wait a minute. Honestly, it looks like I am crotch-thrusting to victory. <laughs> so you were the chosen one. What a wonderful day it is. Pretty soon we will all be saved. Walk over to that cliff over there and let St. Dashius talk to you from above. Crotch-thrust! That didn't work out. Okay, let's do it this way. Crotch thrust! Almost worked. Okay, jump, jump, crotch thrust! I missed. I missed some place, and I'm back to the bottom. Oh, but there is something... Yo! What's here? Absolutely nothing, interestingly. Ooh, I bet I can do the jump from here. Crotch thrust! That didn't actually help out. Ah, shit. Hmm. You know, I expected there'd be more here. Oh shit. Take me up, take me up! You're gonna keep bringing me up. Actually, yeah, I guess I have to reach it all the way to the top and then cross the rest to victory. Yep, that's gotta be what it is. And... Crotch Thrust! That time I made it. And I made it to this one, too. Oh! Nice! Oh, this is just brilliant. Look at this structure. The craftsmanship, the shapes, the red markings. This just really tells a story. I should draw this as, an in as inspiration for my next game. Maybe a horror setting? Cosmic beasts. Eldritch machinations. Oh yeah, that's good. I wonder who did this. It's just so amazing. Hmm. Your pilgrim. Wait, how did you get up here? Oh no. You talked to that other idiot, have you not? I'm sure he filled your head with all his false idols and nonsense. That one is dangerous, let me tell you. I bet he got you to make an offering to his phony shrine, didn't he? 
Well, open your eyes, sheeple. This is the real shrine of our holy Saint Dacius. See its grandeur. See its geometric perfection. Yes, yes, making an offering here, and a real blessing awaits you. What do you think? Only two ovals? Sure. All right, here we go. O oh, ye almighty Dacius, bless this girl with your most powerful blessing. Well, that's awkward. I swear, it never happened. All right, I'll give you this. Just promise you won't tell anybody. Huh. Please don't tell anyone. Huh. This looks like it's a map. But I don't know what it's a map of. Very curious. Is that really it? Yeah, I think that's it. Well, okay then. That's everything. Let's head back to the boat. Hey, Scout. Like I was saying, you're gonna need to step up in our organization. If this operation is ever going to survive, we'll need to pull a, we'll need to pull a big one. A big scar. I've been planning this job with my brother for a while. He doesn't want to do it now. I need you to step in and help out. So listen, here's the take. I need you to stock up on carrots. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. Carrots. I'm not talking about a few. I'm talking about a shitload of carrots. That's the thing we need for this job. If that doesn't make sense to you, that's too bad. You don't need to know everything. That's why I call the shots. Actually, I think I have enough. Making one get done up by anyone. He was untouchable. Nobody could get him. One night, he just got in his car. He probably had a few too many. And he drove that car over the overpass, straight into the lake. He didn't wake up. Winded, winded up in a hospital bed for six months. Not moving. Still felt like him. Silent, but dangerous. You could still see the rage in his face. He didn't want to be in that bed. At least not that long. Um, that's a little concerning. We need a hundred carrots! Oh my god. Well, that's going to take a while. Um, I'm going to need to buy a lot of carrot seeds. Anyway, since it's night, we can go up and see the next part of, uh, of the story with Lily. Just gotta get over there. Come on, come on. Okay. Make it to here. Make it to here. I will say, this dash ability is going to help out a lot with getting some more things. Alright, Lily, what do we have next? Oh. Hey, I'm back. I'm sad to report that there were no cute doctors wandering the halls. Look at you. You look so frail. But even on your hospital bed, you're still gorgeous. Well, this whiskey bottle is half empty. Let's just go ahead and say you drank the rest. Do you remember that phone call you gave me last year? You had taken a sabbatical from work. I had to call the center to learn about it. Yeah, she took a few months off. She got some bad news. What a weird way, what a weird, what a weird way to learn that your sister isn't doing well. So you call me two weeks or something after. It's maybe two in the morning here. Your voice was shaking. I could hear you breathing heavily. You start talking about the trees around you and the air. No, hi, Lily. No, I'm not doing well. Nothing. Just talking about the trees and the air. You said it was cold. That it felt like death, even over here. I didn't even know where here was. It went silent, and then you said you'd be home in a few days. I didn't know what to make of it. Were you sleepwalking? Was that whole thing just a dream? I was scared. You came back and told Mom and me of your diagnosis. And now we're here together. Mom is awake, 
I'm awake. I'm holding your hand. If you can hear me. I love you so much, sis. You're not alone in the woods anymore. We're here, Stella. You'll never be alone. You've never been alone. Bring Stella and... I, I can't. There's still more of the game to do. I still have several... I still have so much on the map to explore, several other spirits to help. I can't end this here. It's not the time yet. I can't end it here. I can't end Stella's journey here. We still have more to do, more to look at, more people to see and help. Still more areas to look at. What little there is, but... There is more. I know that. Harvest these, plant the new things we've had, we've gotten. Ah, here's where we plant the tomato seeds. We do need tomatoes. And we're gonna need a lot of carrots here. I'll need to find whatever our carrots are uh, planted and put them in. Yeah, go ahead, plant onions. For now. Well. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Next episode, we'll do a little more exploring as we can, go see Jackie and see what's going on with that, and, uh, yeah, but this concerns me a little. Anyway, that'll be in the next episode, so until then, I am Chester44, also known as Fly. that is Stella and Daffodil, this has been a Let's Play of Spiritfarer, and I shall see you all next time.